Greetings SharePoint nerds, today we're going to be looking at how to set up SharePoint on a Windows 2003 server. Ok let's kick off. First thing, start administrative tools and SharePoint central administration. Go to application management, create and extend a web application, click away there. Ok now most of the things on here um, take a good look, I've left as defaults the uh, IIS header and the host header I've put as funsite.lucidica.net the port I've put as port 80 um, the URL obviously I've changed the uh, application name I've changed and we've used predefined network service now when we click OK the actual site itself should be created in IIS so let's go to um, application management and create the actual content of the site the site collection. Um, there it is. Okay, and what should we call it? Call it fun site, I think. There we go, the fun way to learn about SharePoint. here we go, we can create a team site or a blank site and this is just a test, we'll go for blank site put in the username a secondary user, we'll go make that the administrator always a good idea oh wow, so it's successfully created, that's good news Okay, now we'll, what we'll do, we'll go into IIS and we'll just take a look, see if it's there. Scroll up the screen. Okay, there it is, fun site. And there it is again. Okay, now we're going to create an A record. If we skip to our A record creating website. Um, known as zone edit if you don't know how to create an A record then you need to learn add a new IP address, the IP address of the server maybe we'll do that in a future video now go to start we'll check out if the, uh, the website is live on the internet this takes about four hours to propagate sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less if you don't have time to wait you can change your host file if you don't know how to change your host file, then do a quick Google. And here we go, a successfully created SharePoint site.